What's up, what's up, what's up? How y'all doing out there in YouTube land? My name is Lady Godiva. This will be my second video, but my my second mukbang video, but my first one didn't upload, so I just did a little screenshot with the kids or a little short video. So now I'm gonna do another video, see if I can upload it this time. Like I said, what's up? My name is Lady Godiva. Um, and I'm gonna do a mukbang for y'all today. Whoop, whoop. Okay, anyway. Um, today I'm gonna to be eating some garlic crabs. These are garlic crabs that I got from my local crab place. Okay. And they just cut them in half, put a little bit of garlic on it, a little season, maybe a little garlic butter. And they also come with, which I really love, they come with a slice, um, what's this, um, celery, which I really like. And I have some crawfish. Crawfish, look at this one. Look at the, the claw on this one. Oh no. Excuse me, y'all. Look at that. I got a claw. So big. And I got a little garlic butter on the side. Do not talk about my little garlic butter dish because I couldn't find anything clear to put my sauce in. Which. Um, that's my sauce this time. Last time I tried to do V-Love sauce. It did turn out good. We had a great time. Me, the kids, and my niece. My nieces and my nephews. Um, so this is, um, garlic butter. Um, dried, um, garlic. Freeze dried, however you want to say it, Garlic. And some chili powder. A little bit of paprika, a little bit of vinegar, and oh, I forgot my hot sauce. That's all right. I also put hot sauce in it, so that's my sauce. So let's dig in. We're going to say grace, and then I'm going to get right into it. Thank you, Lord, for this food that I might receive, make it nourishing to my body, take away any impurities, impurities that might harm me or make me sick. In your son Jesus' name I pray, amen. And also, I'm having me a little cocktail out of my um my little Egyptian wet Willie's cup. Nothing much, just some vodka and orange juice. So anyway, let's dig in. There's a lot of people who don't eat blue crab or don't know how to eat blue crab. I don't use utensils at all. So let me show you how to crack open a cloth. Sometimes you get your meat at the end. Put in my sauce. Oh, that's good. Sometimes you get a little bit come out. You get a straight shot the first time. Okay, so this is empty. I'm gonna put it in my sauce. Give me a little bit of meat. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's a lot of meat on that one. Mm. Mm. Okay, now. I do not use utensils. These choppers are all I need. 
what you want to do, you want to bite to the end. Some people turn around and bite the end. But I don't know. Either way, tomato, tomato. Okay. When blue crabs come back in for the season in Savannah, oh, I'm from Savannah, Georgia. Because right now they're scarce. And nobody got no blue crab. I see they already prepared this for you. So you don't have to cook. I didn't even show y'all that. I just stuck around my mouth. I'm gonna show y'all the next one. You know how to eat it. You can get it good. Like I said, they make it for you. Now, I had the one by my house. They sell snow crab, this, shrimp, conch, calamari, cooked shrimp, raw shrimp. It all depends on how you want it. You want this crawfish? I might think about it, this big boy. How many people eat the stuff up here? I don't eat it. I suck it though. I surely do. I shall do. You know? I suck all that. That's the good part. Nobody know what they missing. You ain't gotta eat it. You ain't gotta swallow it. Suck the juice. One swipe, baby. One swipe. That's all it takes. One swipe. I don't really eat these. I never eat these. Like, never. But since this was so big, I figured, what the hell? Let's see if I can. Oh, I got it out. Mm. Hello. Get me off the cottage. I'm gonna have time for all that peeling, girl. I don't have time. If I can get out of one swipe, I'm going for it. I love these celery too. These things is good, baby. Real good. Nobody got time. Nobody got time. You see this big daddy? You see big daddy? I don't got time. I'm trying to learn you all. Mm. That's what I've got. Suck my head. Yo, let me tell you a little something about me. So y'all can get to know me. Okay? One, I'm a mother of two kids. 
a girl and a boy. 13. My daughter. She's getting ready to go to high school. Ugh. I don't know what to do. And my son. He's eight. Single mother. But right now. <laughs> anyway. So, um, I used to do hair. But then... Something happened. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Ooh, that season went down my throat. Yes, down my throat. <clears throat> Woo! Well, anyway, I used to do hair, but I had to stop. I used to do home health. I used to sit with a lot of patients. But I had to stop because um, I developed something in my heart called VSAC. VSAC is like from out, of nowhere, from out of nowhere, your heart speed up. It goes to racing. And There's nothing that can slow it down except getting um, shot with a defibrillator or getting these drugs <clears throat> pushed through your IV and it kind of like resets your body. You know how you used to reset the video game? It kind of resets your body. It's like your whole body just resets, like your heart stops for a split second and reset, reboot, and it just calms down. So, um, you know, I'm like, the first time I have it, I was outside at the park with my son, and I just started feeling funny. And I was like, I never felt like this before. Never. Like, never. And I was telling my son, I was like, I don't know, right? I think we need to go, baby. He was like, Mama, I don't want to go yet. You know, I want to play for a little while. So I'm like, okay, play for a little while longer, but we can't stay long. Yeah, they. This is the mini Larry the Lobster. So, a few minutes, more minutes went by, and I couldn't take it no more. And I was like, I have to go home. I was like, son, you got, we got to go. I said, I don't feel good. Oh, he said, okay, mama. We got up and we started walking back to the apartment. As I'm walking, my ears are ranking. Uh, my face is getting real hot. I'm getting real flush. My heart is just racing. My chest hurt. It's hard to breathe. And I'm like, something ain't right. I had to stop three times to sit down. Literally sit down. Because I felt like I couldn't walk no more. I felt like... I had to calm myself down so I can get back up and walk again. Look, I don't know how I made it home. I can't even tell you how I made it home. By the grace of God. But I made it in the house. Took off my clothes. Laid in bed. Okay. So I'm laying down now. I'm thinking I'm all right. I'm thinking I'm fine. 
I get up to go to the bathroom, and my heart just goes to boom, 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 well, actually, somebody else came and got me before the ambulance could get there. So I rolled with them. So, yeah, I finished that crawfish pretty damn fast. So, now. I'm in a car, ride to the hotel. Went sign in. They didn't check my vital signs yet. So, they say, I say, ma'am, I got came back up to the front desk. I say, ma'am, my chest hurting. She said, your chest hurt? I feel like I can't breathe. She said, hold on. She said, stand right there. Don't go nowhere. She went and got the um a wheelchair. So I'm sitting in the wheelchair. They rolled me back to triage. So they put the um they did blood pressure cuff. God, excuse me. I'm sorry, y'all. Blood pressure cuff. And then, after that, they put a thing on my finger. So they was like, Man, have you ever had this problem before? I say, No. Now, this is what things got scary. Because I ain't never, never had nobody put no IV in my arm in triage. They put an IV in my arm in triage. They told them to go get the heart doctor. Everybody just scrambling around. Everybody scrambling around. Now I'm getting nervous. I'm like, what's going on? They said, ma'am, you sure you ain't never had um no heart problems? I said, never. They said, find out such and such and such and such. And next thing you know, I'm being raced down the hallway. In the wheelchair. Told me to get in the room. Told me to get up. Get in the bed. The man even helped me to get in the bed. He didn't even want me to get up on my feet. He helped me get in the bed. After he helped me get in the bed, I'm sitting there. And I'm like, okay, what's wrong, y'all? Next thing you know, about 20, 20, 25 nurses, doctors, residents, all come rushing in my room. Hooking me up and stuff. Looking at the heart monitor. They was like, man. You're in something called VTAC. Your heart is going over 100. At that time, it was like 160-something, 70-something beats a minute. If it would have went to 200, I would have passed out. Thank God I came to the hospital when I did. So, I'm sitting there. I'm like, what in the hell? So, she like, ma'am. She's like, your heart is going too fast. She said, did you do anything? I said, no, ma'am. Take any drugs? I said, no, ma'am. Had any drinks? I said, no, ma'am. She said, you sure? I said, yeah, nothing. She said, you were just sitting out at the park watching my son play on the playground. I'm like, what in the world is going on? I said, ma'am, please tell me what's wrong. Everybody trying to, it's okay, don't worry about it. Just calm down. Take deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And I'm like, why are y'all treating me like this? Nobody's still not telling me how serious this was. I was about to be out of there. So what did say? Ma'am, I'm about to give you a drug. She said, it's going to slow your heart down. She said, I want you to relax. 
This is, your body's going to feel real numb, like your foot went to sleep, but your whole body is going to feel like that because it's resetting your body. It's resetting your heart. So she said, now I don't warn you. This medicine feel like you just got kicked in the chest by a donkey. I say, what? She said, it's going to feel like you just got kicked in the chest by a donkey. So I'm like, man, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. She said, if you don't take it, you're going to die. Man, if I didn't pray to Jesus so hard, I don't want Jesus, 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 the blood of Jesus, Lord, save me, forgive me for my sins. God, please take me to these gates. God, please don't let me die. I was saying all kind of stuff. But, I tell you that medicine made me feel like a donkey keep me in my chair. So, I'm going to cut this story short. It went from that to everything's okay. I had to stay in the hospital for a week. When they sent me home, they sent me home with something called a life vest. A life vest is like you going home with defibrillator pads scrapped to your chest. You can never take it off. Only take a shower. I had to take five minute shower because I couldn't have it off that long. So. I couldn't, my kids couldn't sleep in the bed with me. Because normally at that time, my son was little. He still slept in the bed with me sometimes when he got scared. He couldn't sleep in the bed with me because if I got a treatment, he got a treatment. If I was sleeping in the middle of the night my heart started racing and I didn't know it, then the life vest will shock my heart back into regular rhythm. I will actually get defibrillated in my bed. So that's why my kids couldn't be around me. Or they couldn't sleep with me. And that's like the worst thing when you can't have your kids around you. It's awful. So, like, I don't know. Like, it was just awful. Then it happened again to me last year when I was going on vacation. So, I had to have two heart surgeries. They're called heart ablations. It's where they burn this electro at the bottom of your heart. And it's supposed to, it sends all the signals to the rest of your heart. So mine was out of whack. So they had to burn it. So long story short, now I now hope and I pray that I'm better. Because that's one experience I never want to go through ever again in my life. It has you nervous, scared. You panic, and I don't want to go through that. I just don't want to. I don't never want that to ever happen to me again. So that's my little slight story time. I just cry up because, baby, baby, let me tell you, I pray nobody ever has to go through that. I don't know if this video was successful, but I hope it was. I really hope it was. I had a good time. With y'all today. Um, so if you like my video, <laughs> this is really weird. This is my first time doing this. If you like my video, please like. Comment, subscribe, um, and subscribe to me, please. Hit the notification bell so you can get more videos of me. Um, help me out, y'all. Get this video a lot of views and a lot of likes, and I'll bring you back something real good. Um, and I thank y'all, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.